What is going on guys? In today's video, I thought I'd hop on the bike and talk about my top five affordable mods for the Yamaha FZ07. Um, I get this question asked quite a bit on my Instagram page. What modifications should I get? Um, I have a very tight budget. I just picked up the bike. What are some good cheap mods? So in today's video, I'm gonna go over five mods that you can get pick up all for around all for just under $200. All right, so the first modification that I recommend is the Yamaha R6 throttle tube. You can pick this up for around $20 to $30. And what it does is it shortens the throw of your throttle. Um, if you ever ridden the FZ07, you'll realize that, or you'll notice that the throttle, to kind of give it full throttle, you have to really have to twist your wrist quite a bit. You kind of have to go all the way down here just to give it full throttle on the bike. So what the R6 throttle tube does is instead of going from here, now you're just going here. So it kind of does two things. One, it's going to make your bike feel like it has a little bit more power. Um, the main reason for that is just because you're accessing 100% throttle a lot sooner. And also it's going to relieve some of the pressure on your wrist when you're really kind of pushing your bike because you're now you're not really twisting your wrist, your wrist too much. Um, and it kind of just helps kind of relieve some of the pressure from twisting your wrist all the way down, but you're still getting that 100% throttle. Now, another modification that I recommend doing is changing out the handlebars. Now, I have the Rethanol Street Fighter handlebars on my bike, and this is honestly going to be a personal preference. If you like these stock bars and you have absolutely no problem with them, then just keep them and keep the money because it kind of all kind of suits to how it fits you. But for me, I wanted bars that were going to change up the riding of the bike a little bit. To me, stock the Z07 felt like the type of bike that you're going to take to the grocery store, you're going to kind of take it to kind of run some errands, you're really upright, you're nice and comfortable. But I wanted something that you can kind of feel like it was a little bit more aggressive so i put these bars on there what they do is they widen the bars a little bit they drop them down a little bit and they as well and also move them forward just a tad so now my seating position on this bike is a little bit more aggressive i have a little bit more pressure on my wrist and my back is a little bit more leaned over but what that does is it just allows you to have that little bit more aggressive riding position it makes this bike feel like you're ready to just rip around the city not really just kind of take the bike to work and do some errands is how i kind of like to put it now like i said this is affecting your riding position so it's kind of a personal preference but these bars don't put enough stress or enough weight on your wrist or on your back that you're really going to be uncomfortable if you are doing riding this bike for longer periods of time i have ridden this bike for probably three four hour trips with these handlebars and have absolutely no problem at all and honestly they're probably one of my favorite upgrades on the bike itself all right so the next modification is to personalize your motorcycle a little bit and make it your own and now there's a way to do that that's pretty cost effective and that is wrapping your motorcycle unlike wrapping a full fairing sports bike Unlike wrapping a full fairing sports bike, it's gonna be pretty cheap because you only have these two side tank covers and the one piece in the middle. Now, if you can do this yourself, you're gonna be spending around 50 to 60 bucks. But if you have to take it to a shop, you're gonna be spending upwards around $200, which kind of puts us over the limit that we wanna spend in this video. So another way to personalize your bike a little bit is to get a Color Clusters dash kit. So Color Clusters makes a few different products that allow you to personalize your dash and kind of match it to your bike or just add any color to your dash that you would like. Um, they have the color cluster which allows you to change the color of your dash they have the lcd flip which makes the dash black and they have the rpm kit that i have on my bike now that changes the rpm range here so as you guys can see it goes from green yellow to red and hopefully i don't get a ticket here as i rev the bike up you can see the RPM go from green, yellow to red. So it's just a nice way to add some personality to your motorcycle, change up, change up the dash and add some color to match you or to match your bike. The fourth modification is kind of two modifications in one and I'll explain why. That is signal lights and a fender eliminator. Now, a fender eliminator are added in here because on these bikes you can actually do it for free. Um, all you have to do is use some zip ties and it can be illegal in some countries and some provinces or states. But here in Canada, I haven't had any problems with it just yet. And I'll throw up a video to show you guys where the mounting location is for that. But the signal lights are also, you can also do very, very cheap and it drastically changes the look of your motorcycle. On a stock FZ07, you have those big kind of pumpkins, people like to call them. Just the big signal lights, the big orange balls, bulbs <laughs> on the front of the bike that kind of ruin the overall look of the motorcycle. That kind of ruin the overall look of the motorcycle. So switching them out, you can get them pretty cheap and I'll put up some links down below 
of the ones I have as well as show you guys in another video on how you can guys can kind of do a DIY project on the back signal lights to kind of match my bike. Alright guys, so the final modification to end up the list and keep everything at $200 or around that range is a good set of quality mirrors. Now I know you're thinking you're going to say, well, a good set of quality mirrors is going to cost you $200 alone. And honestly, yeah, you're right. These mirrors I right have right here are driven races, driven racing D-axis mirrors and they're $140 a piece Canadian. Would I ever pay that? Absolutely not. But they came on my bike, so I can't complain. But the mirrors I have on my R6 are from a company called, I believe they're called thatmotoguy.com. And they'll link down in the description down below. But what he does is essentially, they're from China. Um, he doesn't really hide that. But what he does is he filters out kind of all the cheaply made products that you find on AliExpress and only stocks and ships the very good quality ones. I have those on my R6 and I've been up to the speeds upwards of 200 to 240 kilometers an hour and haven't had any vibrations or any problems with them. I've had them for about six months now and honestly... I've had them for six months now and honestly I'm going to be switching out these I'm going to be switching those with these mirrors because I like those mirrors better so it just goes to show that you can get a good set of quality mirrors for around $60 that are going to outlast and outperform ones that are 140 bucks all right so there you go guys that is the top five affordable modifications that I recommend for the Yamaha FZ07 I have all these bike all these modifications on my bike and honestly I really do recommend them because one they're super cheap you can pick up them all all of them for under $200 combined and they drastically change the look of your bike as well as how the bike rides especially with that R6 throttle tube and those handlebars so thank you guys for watching like always the links are down in the description down below if you want to pick any of them up I have all the mods on my bike so if you have any questions leave them down below and I can do my best to answer them and make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one because I think I'm going to start introducing my Yamaha R6 on the channel so yeah just stay tuned for that anyways thanks for watching hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later peace